Y'all know nothing about this, you need to pay attention. Sit back and relax, it's time for Goodall's Country Kitchen. here in the heart of Newburg at Sam's Seafood and Grill. I've been hearing about this place for a long time, but recently had a recommendation from Carol Dinwiddie, a good friend of my dad's. She was here the other night talking about how great it was. But then I started doing some Google reviews and something really put the hook in me that I read. And I've got to read it to you. It's, it's worth reading to you real quick. It was, the review was left by a guy named Adam Corman. And Adam, if you see this, please reach out to me because I want you to come and uh, do a review with me sometime. But anyway, Adam writes, I'm from Chicago and I can tell you they've successfully captured the, deli the delicious caloric heart attack inducing perfection known as the pizza puff. There are two stages in your life, everything pre-pizza puff and then the real part of your life when you understand the culinary transcendent, the divinity. Only problem is these pizza puffs may make the latter part of your life significantly shorter. All good things come at a price. I order these things by the sack full. Well, like I said, that really put the hook in me. I could barely read that without getting teared up. But I'll tell you what you are, Adam. You're just a regular day Ernest Hemingway. I mean, that was just some beautiful penmanship there. But anyway, uh, they have Chicago style cuisine here along with the seafood, different, several different kinds of fish. Everything's made to order from all the reviews I've read. They say their chicken's out of sight. Uh, so this is one of those quandaries that I'm in here. There's so many different things to select from. I'm just going to have to get them all. So you're about ready to watch an exhibition here today because I'm going to really put on the fat feed bag. So let's go on there. And by the way, you might notice the gutters and everything. Uh, you can pan over there. You can see the uh, the big scaffolding. whatever scaffolding. They're, they're under doing some construction here, remodeling, doing some upgrades. So, uh, you know, kind of excuse the construction going on. But I just went inside, looked in, this place clean as a pin. And as you saw, they got a big high health rating, 90%, 99%. So let's go on in and check out this food. All right. Taking a look around the place. Got a lot of tables in there. Nice, good sized dining room. My good friend, John Snyder, <laughs> back to help me on the video today. Uh, you come on up to the counter, place your order, and they have an extensive menu of uh, different kinds of fish, which I'm going to be getting some of Jack Salmon, also known as Whiting, and they have an array of different wing plates, buffalo, lemon pepper, uh, they do have salads if you're trying to be halfway healthy which I'm not because, as you know, I just did that review of the salad chick. And I am going to put on the feed bag today with some good, wholesome, fattening food. And, of course, you see the Chicago beef there. And, uh, like I said, they make everything for order. They do not sell pork. So if you're here for any kind of pork, you're not going to find it here. It's all beef and chicken. And I have heard nothing but high praises about this place, and I'm about ready to show you why in just a second. Hey, everybody. All right, so we got John here. I'm going to let him go first. John, tell me what you got. Well, it was hard to choose, I'll tell you that much, because that, that menu is pretty extensive. So it's all health food. You can tell by what I grab. My <laughs> wife will be proud of me. Uh, first is I have these lemon pepper chicken wings, the uh, half wings. I I did some reading about it after Barry said, hey, let's try this place out. These are supposed to be highly rated, so I'll give them a shot. Mm. They sound mm. good and crunchy. Yeah. Mm. 
There you go. And even though they're not the whole wings, I like that they got the, the tips on mm -hmm. those flats because I eat the tips too. Oh yeah. I don't very, waste very I don't waste a morsel. <laughs> yeah, lemon pepper. Yeah, I can see that that lemon pepper on there yeah. encrusted in there, fried. Oh, very, very tasty. Very I mean really good that lemon and obviously pepper taste to it mm -hmm. they're cooked just right they're nice and crunchy on the outside but nice and tender on the inside cool so those are very good i always like hush puppies so figured uh, i didn't want fries so i tried these out and mm, those are very good oh yeah cornmeal mm -hmm. look like they're moist. cooked good and crunchy and lastly I got the uh, catfish bites, which uh, we talked to the, the guy running the counter up there. I'm not sure if he's the yeah. owner, but he... Uh, Ozzy. Yeah, he is Ozzie. the owner. Oh, Ozzy's the owner. So he yep. said that these were one of their best sellers. So. By the way, Ozzy's cool yeah. as can be. He's a good guy. Mm. Those are really good. I yep. think. He said the catfish similar. is his biggest seller. Yeah, and it's the same coating minus the lemon pepper on the uh on the fish here is that right yeah so cornmeal yeah i do see cornmeal on mm -hmm. the uh breading of the wing yep. yeah this is all tasty stuff yep. really good looks like it really and good. you notice john's sporting his good all's country kitchen merch yep you can still get those just uh private message me twenty dollars five dollars delivered or you can meet me in person and save that five dollars shipping all right so we're going to be right back with my food. And as I said, I've got a lot of things to eat today. So bear with us and be patient. All right. Watching John eat his. I'm so hungry now. I'm salivating. All right. I want to start with, I heard the chicken was good. So I want to start with these gizzards. Let me get some of this Frank's hot sauce. You know how I am with my hot sauce. But gizzards, you don't get gizzards too often you might get livers but mm, mm, mm. I love that breading it's good it's got a nice spice to it and one thing I like about the gizzards are they're chewy and full of flavor I don't even know. I don't even want to know what a gizzard really is because I might not ever eat these again. But very tasty. All right, I got the buffalo wings, which it didn't say they're, they're real hot, but just a regular buffalo sauce. Here we go. Mm. Those are really good too. Good breading, they're deep fried perfectly, and then they toss them in their homemade buffalo sauce. All right. Moving along now to the, the famous pizza puff. So I've never had a pizza puff before. I can tell that that is, looks like a pizza dough crust and it's, I know it's got beef in it, but here it is. Let me cut this thing open. Mmm. Here we go. See, it's got beef, pizza sauce, and I think cheese. All right. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Good beef mixed with the tanginess of that pizza sauce. And that crust. It's kind of flaky, as you see there. It's not just like regular pizza dough. Really good. And uh, Mr. Corman, the guy that did that Google review, you're spot on, man. 
That is heart attack inducing caloric Norvana. All right, be back in just a second. Move on to my next item, my favorite. Be right back. All right, this is one of the big reasons I came here because if y'all have seen my videos before, like Fat Dan's <laughs> up in Indy, I just love Italian beef sandwiches. I also did one at Portillo's in Indy. And uh, I've had a couple places here in Louisville that have Italian beef. And I'm not gonna mention anybody by name, but I wasn't overly impressed compared to an authentic uh, Italian beef like I've had at Fat Dan's. All right, this looks very good. I didn't get it dipped because it's really hard to handle when it's dipped. So I just ordered it wet, which is they take the au jus sauce from the Italian beef and they pour it in there real good. But actually this feels like it was dipped. And this sandwich look, feels like it weighs about two pounds. And they have the hot Gia Danera on there, that Italian relish. And they didn't have the mild, all they had was the hot, which is like string music to me because that's the only way I like it, it's hot. Okay, and they also gave me some kind of Chicago, uh, it's a barbecue sauce, and it's supposed to be spicy, but they say it's a Chicago thing, that if you're from Chicago, you know what it was about. Hey, Ozzy. What was that uh, sauce called that you make uh, from Chicago? that I'm putting on here, that barbecue sauce, what's it called? Mild sauce. Mild sauce. Mild sauce, yes, Okay. He said you'd have to be a Chicagoan <laughs> to know. So here we go. Mmm. 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 I think he dipped this sandwich. I don't think it's just wet. I think it's dipped because, I mean, it's just full of that Italian beef au jus and that mild sauce which is that barbecue I can taste it it's got a little bit of spice to it got a little sweetness uh, it goes perfectly on here with that spicy Gia Danera and look at that beef it's just stuffed full of beef with mozzarella cheese mmm mmm All right, I'm sold. If you like Italian beef sandwiches, and if you came here and didn't get anything else, which you should because everything I've had so far is delicious. I even love the buffalo sauce that's on those buffalo wings. Let me try the fries. I know everybody thinks fries are just fries, but these look like they're coated. It looks like they have Cajun spice on them. Mmm. Fries are really good. All right. I'm going to take another bite of this Italian beef. And I told you, I'm putting on the feed bag today. I'm not even close to being done yet. I'm going to go order some more food in just a second. Be right back. Mmm. Mmm. All right. So this will probably be my grand finale. And one thing I like about here, they let you order fish by the piece or you can get the dinner. So usually you would get like three pieces with your dinner, but I wanted to try variety, which this is the grouper, piece of grouper here. You see it's got the cornmeal breading, which I refer to as Green River style. And then here is the whiting, which some uh, people call it Jack Salmon. So I'm gonna start with the jack salmon. Look how white and flaky that is. And smells delicious. Mmm. Mm hmm. Put a little just spicy barbecue on there. Mmm. That breading, it's got a lot of pepper in it. 
you can see. And uh, very flavorful. All right, now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna try the grouper, which you don't really get a lot of places around here. You can get a good fried grouper. So I'm really looking forward to this. Whenever I'm down in um, vacation, I go where the fishing boats come in and I always get the grouper and have fish fry, usually right off the bat when I go on vacation. Shrimp boils, but always get the grouper and fry it up. Mm. Awesome. What I really love about grouper, it's a light tasting fish. Doesn't have a very fishy taste to it at all. And uh, it's a good, like I said, white fish. And uh, you don't get that fishy taste or smell to it. Always really good. Mm. All right. Moving along, I heard that the shrimp here, I was in line getting my food earlier, and a customer saw me ordering all the stuff. She says, you gotta get the fried shrimp. She said, even if you don't eat them here, get them to go, eat them later. So they're the best in town. You can see that that is a good size shrimp there. It's got that good breading. The owner said that they, they bred them themselves with their own homemade breading, and they also marinate it in something he was telling me before they bread it. So let me go ahead and give this a try. Very tasty. Quality shrimp. They're definitely jumbo shrimp. Hey, how y'all doing? Don't mind us. We're just doing a little review over here. Hope we don't disturb you. It's okay. All right. Okay. Jumbo shrimp, definitely a recommendation. And my last thing I want to eat today, which I really got these from Melissa to take home because she loves breaded mushrooms. But Ozzy, which I said was the owner, by the way, He's the manager. He's not the owner. He said one of his best friends is the owner, but the owner's not here today. All right, let me try this. And I'm gonna dip in some of that Chicago mild sauce for the second bite. Mmm. That's very good. I like the breading on these too not real thick to where you're not getting nothing but breading. You can taste the mushroom. All right, Melissa, I'm not gonna eat all your mushrooms, don't worry. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna work on some of this and then I'm gonna get back to you with some final thoughts. Uh, everything we've had right now is really, really good. I'll be back in just a minute. So they have an assortment of desserts here, velvet cake, uh, looks like coconut pie, chocolate, chocolate on chocolate, which if I had more room, I'd be ordering that, but I don't. Uh, that's Italian cream cake, I can tell by looking at that. And cheesecake, banana pudding, and some other things here. So looks like some good desserts too. Okay, I loved everything they had, uh, but the, as I said, the favorite of mine is that Italian beef. Any Chicago people out there in Louisville, <clears throat> if you're missing that Italian beef sandwich, you definitely gotta come here. Uh, I'm impressed with everything, the help, the cooks, everybody was very nice, <clears throat> very gracious and accommodating. All the customers in there were even nice. I even had one group that watched my YouTube channel and uh, stop and talk to me. So that was pretty cool. But yeah, out here in Newburgh, centrally located, uh, anywhere in Louisville, you could probably be here in 50 minutes, 15 minutes, anywhere in town. Uh, if you like seafood, definitely go come here and Chicago cuisine. And you see here again, place is clean as a pin, 99%. <clears throat> and y'all don't know nothing about this Sam Seafood and Grill. 
now you know the facts, but why I'm on a mission, you're always welcome back to Good Off Country Kitchen.